host of me, Diane. What a privilege and an honor it is to be able to share the word with you. And today I would like to share the word which says, pray without ceasing. We find this in the book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 17. It reads, pray without ceasing. Beloved, the word of God is telling us to pray without ceasing. God is telling us to pray, continuously pray. It doesn't matter how we feel. It doesn't matter what we're going through. It doesn't matter what uh, what we see. We have to keep on praying without ceasing. We don't stop praying. Beloved, when you're driving, pray. When you're cooking in your kitchen, pray. When you're sleeping, pray. Pray in the spirit. When you are at, in the shop, when you are, you, you are doing your shopping, pray. We should get in the habit of praying, praying without ceasing. In the morning, let's make time with the Lord to pray, to seek His, to seek His will, to seek His ways. And let us just be in the habit of praying. Let us pray without ceasing. Because prayer is like a seed. You sow today, you may not see the harvest immediately, you may not see it tomorrow, but definitely in the future you will reap the harvest. Because it's, 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 like, it's like an investment. You invest today and you will reap uh, tomorrow or in years to come. But we don't have to stop praying just because we don't see uh, what we want to see. We have to keep on praying. And uh, I would like to share something with you. Uh, my family and I, we, we pray. Uh, we pray together uh, every, every day and uh, we also have our individual time of prayer. But there was a time, um, like, I don't know, about two years back, we, we stopped praying for some reason. We didn't come together to pray. Um, and then uh, suddenly we, we decided that we should pray again. Uh, we, we came back and uh, we started to pray. And when we started to pray again, the Lord showed me a vision. Um, in that vision, I saw a construction site and there were construction workers, um, and, but they were not working. They were not doing anything. They were just sitting there. Even though there was a lot of work to be done, they were not working. Um, it looked like the foundation was set, uh, bricks were laid here and there, but they were not working, they were not doing anything. And they were bored, waiting for the time when they will start working again. Um, and the minute we started to pray, I saw them started working again. I saw the construction workers jumping out, jumping up with excitement. And they picked up bricks and picked up shovels and picked up stuff and they started to work again. They were so joyful and so happy. It looked as if, it, it was almost as if they were waiting for that command. They were waiting for that moment when we'll pick up our prayer life again so that they can start working again. And then the Lord um, explained to me what it meant. Um, and he said this, this is what it means. When we stop working, uh, I mean, when we stop praying, uh, it, it's like we are stopping the angels that he has assigned to work in our favor to work. We, we are posing, we put them on a pose uh, uh, and we like stopping them from doing what they're supposed to do in our favor. And they're bored and they're sitting there and they have nothing to do, waiting uh, for somebody to pray. So when we start praying, the angels go and they work in our favors. They do what they need to do. The things that we cannot do, they go and they work and they do what they need to do because we are praying. So that was really encouraging for me. Up until today, I never give up praying because I know that when I'm praying, there is a shift in the atmosphere. Something is happening. Something is working in my favor. I may not see it today, but I know surely that I will see it tomorrow in years to come. But I know that prayer is not a waste of time. Prayer is, is very important because it, 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 it actually fixes the things that we cannot fix on our own. It changes situations. Even when we don't see it, it's moving. It's changing situations. So beloved, let's not stop praying. Let's remember that God um, um, rewards those who seek Him diligently, who seek Him with all their hearts. When we pray, we are seeking God. When we worship, we are seeking God. So let's not stop seeking Him because there is a reward. Just like an athlete, an athlete will run because he knows there is a reward at the end of the line. So let's be like those athletes. Let us pray. Even though we don't see the end of the line, let us just continue praying, knowing that there is a reward. And God is the, reward of those, is the rewarder of those who seek Him diligently. 
So beloved, let's be encouraged to pray. Let's not stop praying because of what we see. Let's just pray and believe. Pray today and believe today and we will see the results tomorrow. Even in years to come, it will never go in vain. So let us pray. Beloved, may God bless you. And I hope that this message will encourage us to continue praying. Thank you so much. God bless you.